Hi, I have often seen these types of convector heaters being thrown as they are not working. In this tutorial, I will go through the common issues and the fix to it. The parts are not expensive. Irrespective of the name or brand, the working of all these convector heaters are basically the same. Some of them have an on or switch for two power settings or some might have a timer on it. I am working on a brand called Voltomat Heating. Tools required as per your brand of heater. While for this heater you will need Phillips head screwdriver. Also keep a flat head screwdriver handy. Drill machine with suitable drill bits. Multimeter. Parts required as per the issue with the convector heater. Replacement thermal fuse. For more details and buying link, check the description. The spare parts are pretty cheap and do not cost a lot. Replacement thermal cutout. Six pin rocker switch. Thermostat. Nut bowls. On this convector heater you have two switches for two power settings and the thermostat. I have seen a lot of these convector heaters just thrown in the dump. They can be easily repaired. Here are the model or product numbers. The complaint I received about this convector heater that it just stopped working. I have speeded up the video at various intervals just to shorten the video. Disconnect the power cord from the mains before disassembly. Remove the following two screws to remove the handle. Turn counterclockwise to open. If you have a different brand or make of the convector heater, you could skip the disassembly and go to the troubleshooting. Pull out the handle like shown in the video. Pull out the handle towards you. Let's go to the other side. Remove these two screws turning counterclockwise. On the inside you have two screws, one out here and the other on the other side. Turn counterclockwise to open. Remove the screw and keep it aside. This screw is on the other side of the heater.
one screw here other screw out here same on this side two screws let's get them out once you remove the two screws and the foot you will find two more screws remove turning counterclockwise on this side to remove the screws and the foot in the same way I have set the multimeter on continuity and I will go ahead and check if the power cord is ok. I will remove the board by removing the following two screws. These are the heating elements. Check if they are not touching each other or squeezed up. And this is your thermal cutout. The power cord seems to be okay. If the power cord is short or damaged, replace it with a new one. Using a plier or your bare hands, pull out the knob like so. Remove the two screws which are securing the thermostat by turning the screws counterclockwise. Depress the clips and pull out the rocker switch like so. Now let's test the thermostat using a multimeter. The thermostat is working. If the thermostat does not work, then replace it with a new one. Now let's test the rocker switches. If the rocker switch has malfunctioned, replace it with a new one. Rocker switch and thermostat functioning. This is your thermal fuse. There seems to be discoloration of the thermal fuse. Need to get that tested. And next to the thermal fuse is the thermal cutout. Thermal cutout mostly resets itself. If it fails, replace it with a new one.
Thermal cutout seems to be okay. Aha, it's the thermal fuse that has failed. The thermal fuse is held by rivets. What I will do is drill holes through the rivets so as to remove the rivets and free the thermal fuse. If your thermal cutout is faulty, use the same procedure to replace it. I have used a suitable size drill bit to drill to the rivet to remove it. Check the temperature rating value of your old thermal fuse before ordering a new thermal fuse. Buying links I have shared in the description below. These are the new thermal fuses I have purchased. 250 volts, 10 amps and a temperature rating of 157 degrees. You could solder the new fuse back in, but I prefer to secure it using nuts and bolts like so. Bend the fuse in the shape of a hook like so. There the new thermal fuse has been installed. Now I need to assemble back the various parts that were removed. Starting with the rocker switch put it back like so. Put back the thermostat like so. Don't forget the plastic spacer. Secure it with the two screws turning clockwise and then followed by the plastic knob. Put back the board, securing it with the two screws. Thank <laughs> you. 
And now to test the convector heater. They're all working, lighting up and heating up. That will be all in this tutorial. Hope this is of help and it helps in reducing the waste instead of just throwing it out. Thank you for watching.